true facts about marsupials. How much do you know about marsupials? I think I know a good little bit about marsupials. We actually owned two marsupials. We did. It was a nightmare, to be honest. But yes. um, I think I know a fair bit about marsupials, but uh, maybe Ze Frank will teach me something. Ze Frank. Ze Frank. Ze Frank, the funny dude that uh, taught me so much about the mantis shrimp. Mm -hmm. The sad cat diaries, sad dog sad diaries. Sad dog diaries. The guy is a talented guy and he's very, very funny. Very and funny. I feel like this is going to teach me something. I have never watched this video oh, either. So it's fun. a new one for both of us and I'm excited to get into it. Let's get it. Let's do it. We will explore true facts about marsupials. So. Marsupials. Uh, is this really the best shot? It looks like pornography. Not nature. Oh, that's better. Marsupials. <laughs> I just took it in the noodle. <laughs> Marsupials are metatherians, a group of mammals that split off from our eutherian ancestors over 160 million years ago. They may look like other mammals, but inside, marsupials are hiding something that doesn't exist. What? Marsupials lack the ability to grow a placenta which is an organ that oh. looks a bit like a bloody pillow. Oh, yeah. It acts as a waste and nutrient exchange and protects the baby from its mother's immune <laughs> system, which allows human babies, for example, to mature inside the warm. Trust me, the cartoon version is much better looking than the real thing. Lacking the protection of a placenta, marsupial babies have to get the hell out quickly. The kangaroo baby emerges after only seven weeks. So in cute. The oh, Look. God. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it, looks, it looks like a dog penis that's trying to Oh, escape. my God. <laughs> Run, little red rocket. <laughs> Run. <laughs> it is blind, but remarkably has fully functional forelimbs, and it uses them to climb up the mother's midline until it reaches the pouch. It looks, it looks like Voldemort at the end of the series. <laughs> <laughs> the pouch is a bit like a pocket, but it has nipples in it. The baby latches onto the nipple, and the nipple inflates inside the baby's mouth, forming a seal. For the next 100 days, the baby cannot let go as it receives milk from its mother. I didn't know that. To understand wow. this, imagine putting on a blindfold and sniffing your way across a shag carpet until you found a nipple that was just as large as you were, and then thinking, I should put it in my mouth. That is how a kangaroo do. I'll tell you right now, we are not going to talk about the Tasmanian devil. Oh, because oh, that no. is not a polite way to eat. Oh That's no. Starting at the wrong end of the ice cream cone, if you know Yeah. I, mean. I know it's in Australia and they do everything reverse down there. You've heard about the toilets. If you haven't, supposedly the Australian look. puts his head in the toilet bowl and pees yep. upwards. Just the opposite of us. <laughs> really? Who does that to a chicken? The wombat is All another right. marsupial. <laughs> are you trying to hide? It's effective. <laughs> Unlike the kangaroo, it has a rear-facing pouch. This is because oh. the wombat digs and lives in burrows. Here wow. you see two wombats, both good at digging, but one is clearly an idiot. On the plus side, if you're a baby, a rear-facing pouch prevents you from getting a mouthful of dirt. On the downside, it means there is a butthole directly in front of your doorway. They kind of break even, really. The marsupial's penis. Oh. We always do this. Why? I don't want to talk about their penises. It's this should be about the majesty of nature. Look it's at like it. Reviewing an opera and I don't know, talking about Wagner's penis. <laughs> no, I don't want research to Google that, Jerry. Oh, fine. Most marsupials have two-pronged penises, and the female has between two and three vaginas, which sounds like a math problem. <laughs> we have one to one, and it's not like it's not complicated. So now you know. The koala is perhaps the cutest of all the marsupials, but it appears to have received the short end of the evolutionary dick. Jerry, don't bleep it like that. It sounds like I said... You don't even have to bleep dick. Oh, the koala lives mainly in the eucalyptus tree and almost exclusively eats the eucalyptus leaf. The eucalyptus leaf, on the other hand, has made it clear that it doesn't want to be eaten by anyone. Aside from having very little nutritional value, it is poisonous and very hard to chew and digest. To deal with this, the koala has evolved a very long hind gut, which ferments the leaves, sometimes for over 100 hours. 
A remarkable oh, and complex about? adaptation that the koala could have avoided by eating pretty much any other f***ing thing. <laughs> Baby koalas don't have the fully developed piping to they do are. this kind gut fermentation. No. So instead, they eat their mother's fecal pap. What is that, a little popsicle? Oh, it's two words. Fecal pap. Oh, oh, that's gross. Fecal pap is a pre-digested greenish goo. Like you know how a cow regurgitates oh. cow. Right, when it's like that, <laughs> and you feed it to your child. The diets of most herbivore marsupials pose another challenge. The coarse grasses and leaves wear down their teeth. Each has evolved a unique strategy to deal with this. The kangaroo has four sets of molars, which move forward as the front pairs hmm. wear down. Hmm. Wombats have rootless teeth that never stop growing. The koala's unique strategy is to have neither of these, so when its teeth wear down, it just starves to death. Not only that, <laughs> but the koala has the smallest brain to body mass ratio of all the mammals, and it has a smooth brain, which means that it hasn't evolved the thinky thinky parts. For example, if you pick eucalyptus leaves, which it eats, off the branch and put them on a plate, the koala doesn't know what to do with them. It's not a genius <laughs> animal. However, this lack of brain gives the koala a discreet evolutionary advantage in that it does not give a fuck. <laughs> Case in point, koala in the rain, no fucks given. None. Just remember, one day you might find a comfy little place to live, complete with food and shelter. But if you notice that you wake up to a butthole every single day, <laughs> it might just be time to move on. Something, something, something. Marsupials. <laughs> Koalas. Oh my god. That was my favorite one so far. That was my favorite the Frank video so far. Yeah, that was, uh, I knew all of that, but just the way that he put stuff. Yeah. Well, I didn't so know that wombats had a reverse-facing pouch. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. No, yeah. Because they're constantly digging and Yeah, I mean, shit. it makes total sense. It's just, mm -hmm. it's a fact that no one's ever told me. Um, I didn't know until, what, maybe the last six months that koala babies eat their mom's poop. And Chad actually taught me that. Well, you were talking about how cute they were and how you wanted to hold we one. We were and I was reacting like, no. to a video, um, and uh, he told me that during the video, and I was like, mm -mm, "Look that shit up right now." And then that's the first time that I watched that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Um, how do you feel about them being the dumbest mammals? <laughs> I didn't that they know don't that. know what to do with the leaf brain. on the plant. They don't have the, the thinky uh, thing. On a plate. The <laughs> leaf, you put it on a plate, they're just like. <laughs> it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. I didn't know that they were uh, so so primitive. Yeah, uh, they're very stupid. I didn't know that. Very, very dumb they're animals. They're so cute. At least they're cute. At least they got that going yeah, for them. Uh, you until know? you know that they're absolutely disgusting and putrid creatures that ferment food that's poisonous in their stomach to reap very little nutritional value from doing that yeah they're they're dumb it's like a very complicated and situation. there are things that are extinct yet that, that still, still going lives. wow still going i don't know um very interesting very funny so very frank funny. i love always bringing videos. it home yeah yeah you so, get a uh, Short video with a lot of information packed oh, in. Oh, yeah. I wish that they were a little bit longer. Yeah. That would be pretty cool. But it is what it is. That's what I'm she glad said. that we got one. <laughs> I'm glad that uh, these videos, you know, always inform us and make us happy and make us laugh. And if you enjoyed our reaction to mm -hmm. this, maybe you can just like our channel, subscribe to our channel, suggest videos for us to react yes. to in the future. Suggestions can be put down below in the comments on our discord or if you are a patron on our patreon wow. in the comments there or you can shoot us a message all of the links to that will be down in the description we also live stream we do that every monday and thursday evening at 6 30 eastern standard time mm -hmm. we also 
do live streams of reactions. That's yes. right, reactions just like the one that you saw here. We go live exclusively on Twitch mm -hmm. on Thursdays at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and we hang out with you guys and live stream reactions. Yes. So if that's something that you're interested in, you should subscribe to our Twitch and check us out there. For but sure. for this video, I think that's gonna do it's it. It's gonna do it. See, See you guys. Ya.